think last year uh, as Ravens fans, um, it had such a big negative impact um, on just the way that a lot of Ravens fans process things and really think about things and the way that a lot of us take in information because last year it, it caused so much worry and concern and almost fear. Uh, heading into this off season, uh, so when people were tripping out about David Ajabo not signing his deal, it, it wasn't a shocker. It, it wasn't a surprise, anything like that. Um, but now all that worry that some people had, all that concern that some people had, now you can calmly put that to rest because yesterday the Baltimore Ravens officially they officially signed second round pick. David Ajabo. So now he joins the team, and while he's not going to be practicing yet, um, he does officially join the team. Now he's officially a Raven, and he'll be able to go through the playbook, be able to study, watch film, watch tape, and all that stuff. Um, but it's going to be a slow process. It's going to be a slow process because, again, he is recovering from the Achilles injury. Now, um, we, we talked about this uh, earlier in the Odell Beckham Jr. video, but I, I wonder how with David Ajabo, how they'll treat his injury when it comes to the roster. Um, because they could go the all or nothing route and they could start him on the physically unable to perform list, the PUP, to where he would miss at least the first six weeks. Uh, and then if he was ready to get back on the active roster, they could add him to the active roster, but he would take up a roster spot. But if he wasn't ready and he wasn't ready to return after those six weeks to injure reserve, he would go. And then he would officially his season would be over before it even got started. Or do they go the route where they actually allow him to pass through on the initial 53 man roster and then just put him on injury reserve so they can activate him from injury reserve at any time when he's ready throughout the season? I think that would probably be the route that they would take because it just gives them a lot more flexibility. But either way, uh, we'll see in a couple of weeks because, wow, the, the preseason, preseason really starts tomorrow. First game of the preseason is tomorrow. Not for the Ravens, but I think it's the, I want to say Raiders and Jaguars, I think. Uh, but either way, Hall of Fame game is tomorrow, then the following week. Preseason, then the following week, preseason, then the following week, preseason, then the following week. I think we get a break. Then a week after that, it's regular season football. We are here. We made it. Uh, and it's almost scary to think about just how fast this offseason went. But speaking of speed, my guy, Hollywood Brown. Mm, 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 mm. Man, I, I initially I got a little worried because um I, I, I saw, I, I just kept seeing headlines, Hollywood Brown arrested, and I was like, Hollywood Brown criminal charge. And I'm like, what? But then I read it and I was like, not necessarily relieved, but I, I was relieved. I was relieved, but I was like, ooh, still like, okay, slow it down a bit there, buddy. But it was a relief because, again, the biggest words that I kept seeing were arrested, criminal charges, this, that. Uh, so that had worried me a little bit. But then they said it was for speeding. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, so Hollywood Brown, I, I, who is back, he's healthy again because I know he was having I think it was some hamstring problems some hamstring issues or whatnot but that's cleared up and he's back practicing for the Cardinals but I wonder if he was running a little bit late for work which trust me that that would happen to me all the time like all the time I think like oh man I used to get a lot of speeding tickets back when I was a little bit younger um so Hollywood I I, I feel your pain but anyway um it says that he was arrested for criminal speeding on Wednesday morning. Now, you know what? That, that's something that I had never heard of before, ever. I've never heard of criminal speeding before. What is criminal speeding? Well, uh, the Arizona Department of Public Safety told Arizona Sports that uh, Hollywood Brown was arrested at 7.05 a.m., so early. Early in the morning, he must have just came from like Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts or something. He must have got some coffee and it had him ready to go. He was probably hitting it. Or, you know what? Hollywood, it's Hollywood, man. You know, he, he, he was probably actually on foot running. That's how fast he was running. But anyway, uh, it says that uh, Brown was arrested at 7.05 a.m. Arizona law holds that criminal speeding includes traveling at any speed over 85 miles per hour 
and traveling more than 20 miles per hour over any posted speed limit. So what we do know from this law, from this article, is that, all right, so he was at least going 105 miles per hour, at least, uh, because it says in, in Arizona, the law, you're traveling at any speed over 85 miles per hour. So 85 miles per hour is the minimum speed that you would be going for it to be uh, a criminal speeding. But traveling at any speed over 85 miles per hour and traveling more than 20 miles per hour over any posted speed limit. So they didn't give any of the details of exactly how fast he was going, but he, oh yeah, he was hitting it. Cause it, um, he was headed southbound on loop 101, driving in an HOV lane. Now I know that the HOV lane is supposed to be for two people. I don't know if he had a passenger with him or not. Maybe Kyler Murray was in there. I don't know, but, um, he, yeah, he was in the HOV lane. So hopefully somebody was in there with him. I know, like, again, back then, when I was younger, some of them speeding tickets, I would be doing the same thing. I, I would be, it would be me riding alone, and I would be using the HOV lane because it would be less traffic in the HOV lane. It would, it would, it would be less people there. And I, I was by myself, but I was still riding in the HOV lane because it's supposed to be two or more passengers in the car to be in the HOV lane. But I was like, hey, I, I, I'm trying to hit it, man. I'm trying to go, man. Um, but again, not excusing what he was doing. Cause you gotta be safe, man. You gotta be safe. Um, leave early, leave early. I know there's that saying, I can't remember the saying off the top of my head because I, um, just the way that I go about me, uh, I need to use this saying, but I don't use it enough. So it's not fully registered in my head. If you're five minutes early, then you're late. If you're five minutes early, then you're late. You should be at least like 10, 15 minutes early to places. And again, that, if I would have went by that, then a lot of stuff for me would be a lot different than it had been. Because again, I, I am just late to a lot of stuff. It, it would be so weird. Like I remember the uh, um, two weeks ago, I had an appointment um, at 12.30. 12.30 p.m., so 12.30 in the afternoon. I was up. I was up. I was awake. Because um, I, I can't really sleep late for some reason. Um, but I was up. Woke up probably like 9, something like that. Was up. Was ready. I uh, was showered and all that. Ready to go. But so 10.30 came around. I'm chilling. 11 came around. I'm chilling, relaxing. 11.30 came around. Oh, and it takes about 20 minutes to get to the place. Uh, so 11.30 came around, I'm still chilling. 12 came around, I'm posted up just chilling, man. So then at 12.10 or like 12.12, 12, that's when it like really hit me. Oh, I, I got to go. I got to go. So I, it just, I don't know what it is, man. But it's just a, a, a nasty habit of mine that I have to continuously work on. But anyway, back to what we were talking about. Because, you know, we went way left with Hollywood. Um... Yeah, just just got to work on leaving a little bit early. If if that was what the case was, if he was running late, just got to work on leaving a little bit early. Um, and yeah, as far as speeding, like it's so tough, man, because I I don't now I don't speed like that, like 20 miles over whatever the speed limit was. Oof. Like I do like 5 to 10. Um, but that's like well, you know what? What's what's the speed limit on the turnpike? And on 95. Anyway, um, you got to be safe. It, it, it's so hard, though, because when, when you're running late, you're like, man, um, I just got to I gotta press on that gas just a little bit more so I can get there on time. I don't want to be late, uh, but you, you got to be safe, though. Safety has to take top priority um, in really everything. It, it really does. Um, so... Hopefully Hollywood will have learned uh, a valuable lesson from all of this uh, and he can move forward. They can move forward and, and just be grateful that nobody was hurt. 
Nobody was hurt. I can't even say this is this a Florida thing or it's a South Florida thing. You remember when when Lamar was he was recording and stuff and then he was driving and he was speeding and stuff. I was like, oh, okay, Lamar, well, wait wait a minute now. But this is an everywhere thing. Yeah, uh, people everywhere they speed. I, I I know a lot of y'all watching this probably be hitting it on ninety five or whatnot or wherever on the highway and whatnot. Um, but yeah, let's just just try to leave earlier, man. Try to try to leave earlier so we'll be there earlier and we ain't got to worry about being late. Don't don't be like me. Don't be a late person like me. It's not a good habit, but I'm trying to kick it. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all so much. Um, let's just have a great rest of the week and we out.